Paris Saint-Germain had lost three of their previous four games in all competitions, with head coach Christophe Galtier calling for a reaction of champions ahead of Saturday's trip to Nice. Despite having followed up their loss to Rennes with another at home to Lyon, the Parisians remained top of the pile, six points ahead of Lens and Marseille coming into the weekend, with seven places and 21 points better off than their eighth-placed hosts. Les Aiglons, however, had turned the corner since Didier Degas replaced Lucien Favre as manager in January, winning 12 games undefeated. Pressure had been building on the champions in recent weeks. Much has been made of Leo Messi's future, a reception he has received from the PSG Ultras. He tried to get his side going early on, shaving the outside of Kasper Schmeichel's post after just three minutes. And Danilo Pereira would then do far more than shave that post shortly after, his header cracking against the face of it. Michael reacting quickly enough to beat Marquinhos to the rebound. That chance had come from a Nuno Mendes cross and the left back would be the creator for the game's first goal. And the second attempt picking out Messi in the middle and the great Argentine making no mistake. 14th of the season for Messi. Wherever he may or may not be next season. Doing his part in France for now. worked their way into the game though finished the half the stronger side Kefren Turam whipping a wicked cross in for Nicola Pepe at the back post the Arsenal loanee thwarted by Gianluigi Donnarumma and PSG had their keeper to thank for going in ahead of half time the Italian on hand to deny Terem Moffi on the stroke of the half time whistle lovely outside of the boot pass from Aaron Ramsey Moffi unable to generate enough power to beat Donnarumma. Nice and Paris are the two teams who have taken the most points in 2023 from matches against sides in the top half of the standings. There was only a maximum of three to share between them on this occasion. So who would be claiming how many at the final whistle? He thought they'd equalised five minutes after the restart and Dante let fly following a corner. Brazilian's effort, which crashed down off the crossbar, didn't quite cross the line. Goal line technology showing just how fine the margins were. Dante millimetres from making it four goal involvements in one season for the first time in his career. And the hosts kept coming, piling on the pressure. First, Antoine Mendy forcing a good save from Donnarumma. And then Yusuf Ndayashimiye sticking his palms with a well-struck first-time effort. With a quarter of an hour remaining, the win will be secured. Messi with the corner and Sergio Ramos with the header. Finally, that long-awaited combination of the two men who spent so long on opposite sides of El Clasico. Perhaps a fitting way for Messi to mark up his 1,000th goal involvement in club football. PSG's number 30 has been involved in 11 league goals since the turn of the year. Only Wissam Ben Yedda has produced more. It's also the sixth time he scored and assisted in a league game this season, the highest tally in Europe's big five leagues. Looks as though it may not be plain sailing to the finish line when Danilo's header hit his own crossbar. But it would end 2-0. Digar finally loses for the first time in all competitions in his 15th match. PSG restore their six-point lead at the top and put an end to a painful run. Parisians have 69 points after 30 games. All teams with that tally or better at this stage in the history of the top flight have been crowned champions at the end of the season.